Think back to sixth grade. You're 11 years old, and this is the best day ever. We got to live it today with Chase. Today's a big day. Yeah. Two years. Uh-huh. And guess what? What? Pictures look awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Chase is yeah. finally cancer free. He was diagnosed with stage three non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and he endured some difficult, painful treatment. Cancer survivors know how significant this two year mark is. It really signals victory over cancer. Mom, dad there, and they all want to participate in the good news along with Aurora police officer, Jim Seneca, who's become a close friend thanks to his organization, Cops Fighting Cancer. And together they celebrated Chase's awesome day. I think I'm grateful to be where I'm at now um, because I've made a lot of new friends over the journey and many more friends to come over the years. But he's just an extraordinary young man. He's very brave, very courageous. It's Chase's day, uh, so he deserves a lot of the credit and he's just a great kid. He's a cancer survivor too, so he should be um, learning as much as I'm learning and like see what's going on with me and it's kind of like a close relationship like with a brother or a sister you have this real good bond. Today was a great day. It's mostly um, tension you know really it's not tears of sadness but today was a huge day for Chase and our family and you know at one point we didn't think we would see this day. Chase considers his oncologist, Dr. Jennifer Clark, his hero. The entire family is forever grateful to the care they've received at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. And doctor's orders today, you're cancer free. Go get ice cream, a big old cone. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah, so. Ice cream makes everything special. better. And he's, he's just killing it in school, doing great in his grades, and he just wants to get back to that normal life of baseball and school and cancer free. Well, it was great of them to share that moment yeah, with all of us. It was great.